My name is Ryan Poliniak. I'm a customer account manager here at Western Computer. I'll be joined by Meher Malki. He's an NAD solution architect here at Western Computer. What we're going to cover simplified setup and configuration of NAV itself. Microsoft has made it easier with this release to use an assisted setup feature, a predefined set of data to quickly implement repeatable solutions to follow fewer manual setup steps, things like easily creating users. That goes back to the NAV and Office 365 integration where new users can automatically be created with user groups and permission sets and Office 365 integration very, very simply and easily. There's assisted guidance that allows things like wizards to guide us through setting up, for instance, an approval workflow or setting up our sales tax or setting up our fiscal year within NAV, a step-by-step -step wizard to help guide us through that. And then, depending on the organization and how involved with NAV you are, using deployment PowerShell scripts to create a new company or add default setup data. All of this simplified configuration makes NAV an easier application to manage. And Murph's going to show us some of that. Great. And what I'd like to do here is take us back into NAV and take you straight to the assisted setup. Okay, so this is a new page added with lots of great features here. This is a great place to start when setting up a new company. You would come here and you would see all of the different areas that need to be set up and what their statuses are. So for example here, we'll go to the Migrate Business Data. We see that it hasn't been completed. I'm going to go ahead and click on that and we see a wizard presented to us. And it will step us through the process here, so I'm just going to go ahead and say Next and it's asking some questions. What direction do I want to go in? Do I want to import from Excel or import from QuickBooks? There are other extensions to import from GP and so on and so forth. I'm going to go ahead and just choose Excel, which is fine. Here are some basic instructions. Again, I can specify different settings in order to step through. I can download the templates for my data. And again, this wizard is specific to the data imports. So here, what basically what I did with the click of a button, I was able to download all the templates for my GL, my customers, my vendors, and my items. You see all that down here, the different tabs. I can go ahead and backfill all of this in the spreadsheet and then carry on with my wizard and import it in. I'm not going to go ahead and complete this particular wizard. I have no data to import, but I'll show you another example, if you will. Perhaps setting up sales tax, like what Ryan mentioned earlier. Again, just steps you through it one step at a time and allows you to choose things like which account you want to use. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose any random accounts here and fill in the various cities and the rates per city. So again, as you can see, you can't really make a mistake here. It's stepping you through each step in the process. The other area around the various setups that have had major improvements uh, around the setup and configurations, I'm going to go to one of the setup tables. So for example, sales and receivable setups. And what you'll find is this has been simplified a bit. And what Microsoft has done is brought front and center to the setups and receivables, everything that you need to set up the setup and receivable section. So for example, here under the general fast tab, you'll notice it's condensed. But look, we have this show more fields here. You can certainly go ahead and click on that and show the remaining of them. The big improvement that we found are up here in the ribbon, where now you can literally work from left to right and set up all the various parts of sales and receivables to have a fully functioning module. Now in the past, you've had to know to go to all these places and set up all these various components to have a fully functional sales module, if you will. Now you go to one place, one experience, and you follow them across, and you're good to go. Great. That makes it much easier for somebody to ramp up on setting up NAV. I think that's the goal here, and 
I think that they've done a great job with this. Enhanced configuration capability is going to go a long way into allowing people to do a lot of this type of thing in their NAV system. That concludes today's video. Be sure to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on all latest video releases. Thanks for watching.